says he's going to knock me out. He also said he was going to knock the Klitschko's out. And I didn't believe him. I've also and said I, I was going to knock out again. 24 of the 26 people I've fought. And they got knocked out. So when it counts, yeah, you can't you can do it, can you? When the chips are down, all the fights you don't counts. Every fight counts. You turn when, fight when counts. Look, there's your big opportunity, counts. and you didn't do nothing, mate. Didn't do nothing. Tyson, you okay? But Martin, Vladimir Martin, Klitschko has, has proved himself, Tyson, as the world's best for many years. Right, but he has never fought somebody like me, and when I fight him, it's going to be an easier fight than this guy sat next to me, because he doesn't move like Haymaker. He's not as slippery as Haymaker, and he's very hittable for someone his own size. Okay, are you disciplined enough like this man is? Well, we're looking at here. I to don't do have the same to be. Thing. If, if, the, if your game plan's not working when you're fighting David I don't Day. have to be. Vladimir fights like a wimp, like a little girl on the outside. He didn't want to trade it with David A, where I do. I want to trade. I want to take fire with fire. If he can hit me, I want to hit him back. And we're going to see. I said I was going to knock uh, Cunningham out, and I didn't box him and had a fight with him. And I'm saying the same again. I'm having a fight with David. I'm taking him into deep water. He's going to unload on me. I'm going to take it all on the gloves and arms and maybe get hit in the face as well. And if I go down, I go down. I'm getting back up. Listen, and I'm going to grind him down until he jacks like he did against Thompson. If you'll do it once, you'll always do it again. I may have lost an amateur fight, but not once in my whole life have I ever jacked a fight. That's the difference. <laughs> you, you're out <laughs> What's the difference between me and you? David, you're out by Sir Good, Harrison. What's good, family? So mash the like button and subscribe. So we just heard there from Tyson. Oh, theory. Now this right here was a some leaked audio that some man sent me of Tyson Theory airing out his main man's Billy Ho Saunders, telling him why the difference between him and Billy Ho. He made a number of key points here, which I think is very important to kind of go back. And go through it and, and highlight. Because many people will say, oh, why be, look, Fury's a bad friend. How can he talk about Billy Ho jacking? How can he expose the fact that Billy Ho's essentially, his career's over now? Because, like Fury said, and I quote, if you jack once, you'll jack again. Yeah? If you want to, if you get bopped on the eye once, and you pull Ben Davidson into your ear and t uh, beg him to chew it off for you, you're going to, you best believe, you're going to, Grab Ben Davison again and pull him in and get him to blow it, blow in your ear one more time. No doubt. Yeah? End of day. Tyson Fury said it himself. If you drag, if you get bopped on your eye once and then at the end of the round, you pull Ben Davison in and get him to chew your ear off to drag you out the fight, you best believe you'll do it once, you'll do it again. Because it's like almost like children. If you give, if you give them an inch, they take another inch. There's never once been a child here where you, you, you lack discipline and then they, they get the message. Does that make sense? Simple as that. Billy's going to think to himself now, oops, I've been hit on my eye again. You know what? Let me just, let me, end it around. I'll get Ben to chew my ear off and tell Mark to pull me out. That's what happened every time. It's inevitable. Because the maths don't add up. Many people like Schiller's, many Schiller's, sorry, like Tyrone Booth. Tyrone Booth said, oh, Billy's the smartest man in history. Yeah, it's really smart what Billy did. Well, that's the thing. That's the problem, you see. Fighters and boxing, it, unfortunately, and Billy Ho allegedly knows this, box, fighting and boxing isn't about who's the smartest man. That's what I don't understand. All of a sudden, yeah, the week before Billy Ho fought Alvarez, it was all about heart. It was all about fighting spirit. You don't know my heart. You never, you never fought someone with a spirit like mine. That's what it was about. Before the fight, it was all about fighting spirit, fighting heart, fighting skill. After the fight, it's all about, oh, well, he's smart and yeah, he was making logical decisions and it's the best thing he could have done and he saved his eye. But you weren't talking about logical decisions. Boxing isn't about logical decisions. Or, sorry, the main part isn't. The main part is about what you've got. What are your minerals? Yeah, and that key, that key differential there, that key, that key switch that Billy flicked, Billy went from Mr. Spirit and Mr. Heart to Mr. Logical Decisions. And on that basis, that there, like Fury says, 100% here, Fury, whilst it's harsh, he's exposed his best friend, his number one bare knuckle champion cousin. He can't lie. The, the truth is, the minute your brain switches from that passionate, fighter spirit fighter heart mode the minute your brain does you know what i mean the minute your brain minute the minute that fighting brain switches into 
calculation mode. Oops, I've just been bopped on my eye. What shall I do? Shall I get my heart out that I've been talking about for the last six weeks? Shall I get my fighter's spirit out that I've been ranting and raving and taunting Alvarez about for the last six weeks? Or, shall I grab Ben Davidson's head and pull it into mine and get him to blow down my ear for 20 seconds? And tell him to get me out of here. Tell him I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity boxer. Get me out of here. Yeah? That's the, that's the place Billy found himself at. And what did Billy do? At that point, he got bopped. What did what what switch did he flick? Did he did he flick the um? Did he flick the? You know what? It's about it's about time for me to prove all this stuff I've been talking about. All this. Go out go out on your back, brother. Yeah. It's about time for me to start to prove all this. You haven't seen a a heart like mine. Or did he flick the switch of? I'm gonna drag Ben Davidson's head into mine and beg for him to blow blow down my ear hole for 20 seconds and tell him to get me out of here which did he what f listen I'm not trying to I'm just reporting the facts which switch did Billy flick we all know which one it was he flicked the mathematical one to, oh it makes sense for me to not take no more damage and it makes sense for me to beg Ben to drag me out of here I'm a celebrity boxer who's just made eight million dollars I don't need this get me out of here yeah he was pushing the ITV reality TV show button. No doubt. Yeah? He didn't want no more. And that's fine. It's fine to be a calculating and, math and mathematical don. But that's not what... The, pe the problem people like me have is the, is the issue of... For years and months, Billy Ho himself has undermined others. On principles that he allegedly had. And when it came his time, all of a sudden, Shillers, paid MTK Shillers... Tyrone Booth and other people, they start saying, oh, no, it makes sense, it makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Not for someone who alleged they had the biggest heart and the biggest spirit the boxing's ever seen. You can't, you can't be both things. You can't have a massive heart and a massive spirit. And then the one time in your career you've been tested on that, you've been called on that, the boxing gods called, pulled your boxing... No, sorry, the boxing gods, the boxing spirits pulled your... Big spirit card out. And what was there? Unfortunately, they pulled a dud. Because there weren't no spirit in Billy. Billy hopped out. Yeah? Begged Ben. He pushed the Beg Ben button. And there's a reason Ben was there. A few key reasons Ben was there. Ben was there because Billy Billy wasn't sure if truth be known, yeah. We should that, that should have been a sign to us. Why was Billy Why was Billy so adamant to have Ben in the corner all of a sudden? I think the after the build-up, after that weak build-up, yeah, I think the reality of the situation kind of landed on Billy. He thought, wait there a minute, I've really got on Alvarez's nerves. And I think when Billy realised that Alvarez weren't bothered about the ring size, that kind of hit home to him. He thought, oops, this guy don't care about the ring size. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't think I've got a chance. What does he know that I don't? He's talking about stopping me in the eighth round. And if you actually follow Alvarez's career... Quite consistently, you'll know that Alvarez really doesn't give round stoppages. So Billy knew that, you know what I'm saying, he knew his time was up. And on that note, he realised that, wait there a minute, I've got Mark Tibbs as my lead trainer. Can I trust Mark to drag me out of there when I, once I get hit once on the eye? No, I can't. That's what Billy, that's the, that's, a, that's the thought process. Let's not forget as well, we know now, Billy's as... As have been proven. As we've heard from Schiller's Tyrone Booth. We've heard that Billy's very calculating. Oh, Billy's a smart man. So we, you can't tell me OYB. He wasn't thinking all these things you're saying. Wasn't he? You can't have it both ways. You can't sit there and tell me, oh, Billy's smart for saving his eye and Billy made the right choice. And Which is it? Is he calculating or not? He's calculating, 100%. You're right. He never had all that. Because true fighting spirit, people with true spirit, yeah. People with true heart. They don't need to be doing all this thinking and oh, I better fly. I better fly Ben in because if I get in a squeak, if I get in a tight squeeze, I need someone in there who's going to drag me out and not ask questions. Yeah, get Ben in, and that's what Ben was there for. Ben was there in case Billy found himself in a tight squeeze, and he knew he could get dragged out. Because Mark, we already heard from Mark. Mark was saying, "You're good for another one." Out you go, back out you go, Billy, and that's when Billy 
pulled Ben in and said, Ben, <laughs> yeah, I'm a celeb I'm eight million dollar celebrity. Get me out of here. Yeah, ITV style, no doubt. That's what happened. So we heard here, I've given you man the rundown, the analysis, but we've heard there from Tyson. I thought it was very important to replay you, man, this leaked audio from Tyson Fury exposing Billy Ho. Because these words, you can't, on Fury, you can't knock Fury for this. And Fury says, listen, Billy, that's the difference between me and you. Yeah, me, get put down. Because to be fair to Fury, what we know is, yeah, to be fair to Fury, what we know is, he has got genetic limitations as it pertains to his chin. We've seen his dad. His dad has no chin. 100%. His dad is Mr. John, the chinless one, Fury. So despite having no hardware, despite having completely moody hardware, John Fury has no doubt passed on one of the moodiest chins in history to his son. But however, with that said, Fury could easily run along, or Fury could easily, Tyson Fury could easily run through the sport saying, oh, well, you know, yes, I got put down by Wilder, yes, I've been put down by Cunningham, and, but, you know, it's not my fault, it's my dad's moody chin and my dad's moody genetics that's done it, that's kind of doomed me. He didn't say that. He said, no, yes, I've been given faulty genetics. Yes, my chin's moody. Yes, my chin's genetically impaired. However, that's just the hardware. I've got there's something else in me, a level of spirit, that wants me to push on. Because we saw him. Yeah, his eyes was rolled all the way in his head. If anyone had an excuse to stay down, it was Fury. He got up. Billy, and he got hit once. Yeah, and if the worst thing is, what even makes it worse is, Billy Joe Saunders actually has pretty good hardware. He hasn't been, he has Billy Joe Saunders really isn't genetically flawed. He was taking a few good licks off Alvarez. He'd been given all the gifts of the hardware. But he didn't want to use them. He didn't dare use them. Because he knew that, wait there a minute, in this round nine, my legs have run out of gas. Alvarez is taunting the fans. Alvarez is getting the fans hyped. He knew what was coming. Billy was going to get his 22-foot ring all right. <laughs> yeah, one of them ones. Alvarez was fixing, in, in that round nine, Alvarez was, was fixing to stretch Billy all the way out for him. No doubt. And Billy knew that. Billy didn't want no more. Billy denied the boxing gods of their meme hall of fame. KO finish. Because that's what, that's what Billy was fixing up for. He was fixing to go into the meme hall of fame. Alongside Ben Askren. Alongside Nate Robinson. Alongside Dillian White. All these cats who have been, had their meme re highlight reel Hall of Fame KOs. That's where Alvarez was fixing to send Billy Ho. Billy Ho denied the boxing gods of that. And that's why we have to respect people like Dillian White. Dillian White goes spark out. Dillian White goes straight to the meme Hall of Fame. All these other people. Nate Robinson White. He's not even a fight. He's, a, he's an NBA player. Nate Robinson goes straight to the meme Hall of Fame. But yet Billy... The one with the biggest heart in the world, and you haven't seen a spirit like mine. He's doing the maths. Yeah? He's calculating. Oh, Ben, come here. Chew my ear off. Get me out of it. I'm a celebrity. ITV style. That's what Billy... Listen, let's call it Spade Spade here. Billy went ITV, reality's TV show style. Out of there he was. He didn't want no more. And people... Oh, YB, you've... You've covered this topic already. Listen, if, you've, if you're tired of hearing this topic, don't click the video. You might love this topic, yeah? Anyway, before I go, let me... There's a few key words here I've missed to... Or I've not kind of... We haven't focused on enough. And this type of video, we must focus on... We must pay attention to detail on the wording that Fury uses. Because it is relevant. Yeah, Fury says... Starts off by saying... To David Hay, he says, listen... Oh, sorry, he starts off by saying to Billy Ho Saunders, when it counts, you can't do it. When your big opportunity came against Canelo Alvarez, you did nothing. Yeah? And that there is, <laughs> what can we say? All of his, and same as David Hay, to be fair, David Hay, same kind of thing. To be fair to David Hay, he didn't roll over. Although he didn't turn up properly either, but either way, David Hay turned up in a heavyweight fight. Got bopped a few times. His eye weren't bopped, but even, again, look at... David Hay was in there with T Tony Bellend. Tony Bellend. Hay had one leg. Hay had one leg and kind of pushed through. 
try, try, try to carry on at least. Billy Ho got bopped and hopped. His big night. His legs ran out of gas, and that was the end of that. He didn't want. He didn't want to be there no more. All them things he talked about, he didn't want. Next thing Fury says. I take Alvarez took Billy into deep water. And if I get put down, I'm getting back up. And I'm going to grind my opponent down until he folds. And that's what Alvarez did. Alvarez grinded Billy down until he folded. Much like Hay and Thompson, to be fair. Similar kind of stuff, really. I know there's a whole lot of shillers who would say, Oh, well, why be it's different because of the... No, it's not different because of the injury. I've showed you videos of women having exactly the same injury. And she was getting Molly McCann. Yeah. Molly McCann, UFC fighter. Had the same injury, but worse. Because she had no eyesight. Her eye was... F Listen, her, her, her eye had gone full pork pie. Full saucy pork pie had her eye gone. And she pushed through. She got kneed directly in her pork pie eye. And pushed through. She she said she heard the bone crack again. Billy's eye didn't crack again. Because he hopped out. Yeah. He got hit once. Got a little bit of swelling. A little bit of bruising. And hopped. He was, out, he was out of the ring so quickly. His eye didn't even get time to swell up. Do you know why? Because it weren't actually fundamentally damaged. That. And there's a reason you know that. When. But the time between, yeah, Billy being hit and leaving the ring was 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Now, that amount of time was plenty of time for his swelling to develop. You'll notice there's no swelling when he walk, when he leaves the ring. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because no, there was no fundamental injury. It was all just swelling. He got hit once, had a bit of swelling, and hopped out. His legs were tired. I'm not gonna. Bl I'm not even gonna blame him because, to be fair, his legs were tired. There's no doubt. There's no doubt in that. that. And that was the main reason he jumped out. It had nothing to do with it. I. His legs were tired, and he thought, "Oops, I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna be joining my brothers, Nate Robinson and Dillian White, in the Meme Hall of Fame. That's where I'm fixing to go. The other men I've mentioned, the aforementioned men, Dillian White, Nate Robinson. They, you know, they took their licks. Dillian White knows. He's sent many a man. He sent many a man to the Meme Hall of Fame himself. The least he can do is honour the boxing gods. If it's his time to go, it's his time to go. When, when, it, was, when it was Dillian White's time to go to the Meme Hall of Fame, he went there. And that's why the boxing gods have blessed Dillian White with many pay-per-view shows. Yeah? Billy ain't going to get no more blessings. Billy will get filled in by Chris Eubank Jr. if they fight again, on principle. On principle of it. The boxing gods are not happy with Billy Ho Saunders. All that talking he did. And to fold. And to create so all these lies around what happened. Oh, his eye was triple fractured. And this, this was broken. That was broken. The boxing gods are not even a bit happy. And to be honest, from what I'm hearing. From the boxing gods. They're telling me, listen YB. That man shouldn't get back in the ring. Because if he does, it ain't going to end well for him. Is what I'm hearing from the boxing gods. That's what they're telling me. Yeah. No doubt. They're not, not, they're, not, they're not even a bit impressed with Billy Ho. They can't believe what they had to witness. Yeah? Now, the last thing I'll say is... There'll be, there's, I'm sure there's people out there who say, Why be? Tyson Fury, he shouldn't go off on Billy like this. Like, it's not, he shouldn't knock his friend when he's down, listen. Tyson Fury, rightly or wrongly, is calling a spade a spade. Yeah? He's consistent. If you jack once, you'll jack again. And that's all it is. This message must be out there. We must be consistent. Because for many years, people have thrown this around. Oh yeah, you jack once, you jack again. Now it's Billy's turn. And I'm telling you now. I've, arguably, I've genuinely, I'm struggling to see someone actually quit easier. Because if people say, oh, why be AJ quit? AJ got put down four times. So even if we conclude, yeah, he quit. Yeah, he didn't push through some more. He'd been down four times. How many times had Billy been down? Oops. None. Yeah? How many times had Billy been down? 
And AJ fought back three, four times. Four times he fought back, in fact. Four times he got back to his feet. How many times did Billy get back to his feet? Essentially, Billy got put down once and hopped out. So don't tell me about, oh, why be AJ, AJ? Yeah, okay, look, you're right, AJ quit. AJ quit after four times being put down. Your man Billy. <laughs> like I said, I'm actually struggling to think of a worst example in history. Because let just just humor me who just humor me for a second, yeah. Let's assume that Billy didn't have all the injuries that were alleged um, and that we've got no proof of. Let's assume for a second that all my evidence, which is 100% correct, of the of him having only a little bit of swelling. If Billy, if Billy, if what I'm saying is correct here, which by the way, all the evidence supports that Billy only had some swelling and had no cracks or fractures. This would be, or would it not, you tell me, all you Billy Ho fans, you tell me, if it is only swelling, would you say this is the worst case of a jacket you've ever seen? And I think it is. Because for you to get hit once on the, for you to get hit once, and get some swelling on your eye, and to jump out, I've never seen anything like that. He wasn't getting butchered for rounds and rounds. In fact, I remember screaming at the TV, Begging Alvarez to go to work. I couldn't understand why he was taunting and wasting time. I wanted him to get to work. This wasn't a pummeling. Don't get me wrong. If Billy had got his nuts out and went him back in there again, it would have ended up being. The last four rounds, he would have been pummeled from pillar to post. No doubt. However, the first eight rounds really was very light work. In terms of the amount of shots Billy took. It was singular. It was one here and there. A few times each round. So for a man to be hit a few times and to jump out, I've never seen anything like it. You tell me what you show me an example of someone folding more. Show me one. At that level as well, having done that much talking. Never never before seen. No doubt. Tyson Fury airs out Billy Ho Saunders. Tells him, listen, Billy, your career's done. Because you jack once, you jack again. And, and all that, listen, all that Chris Urank has to do, I don't even rate Chris Urank. Chris Urank, he's a bum as well. But still, all he, ha all he has to do, yeah, is go in there, tuck his elbows in, stick it on Billy, and provide in. And um, to be fair, we'll know. We'll know days in advance. I'll, t I'll call it now. I will know days in advance what Billy Ho Saunders is going to do. Do you know how? Guess what? If Billy Ho Saunders has Ben Davidson in his camp, I will know the fight will not make a distance if he's put under pressure. The first man to put Billy under pressure, guess what he'll do? He'll bring Ben Davidson in close. Ben Davidson will blow down his ear for 30 seconds and he'll up out. That's what will happen. Now, the, ch the only chance Billy has not to jack is not to have Ben in the corner. Because maybe then, someone like Mark, who has a connection... Remember, let's not forget, Mark Tibbs, in his interviews, he talks a lot about the connection. Many people don't understand what that means. Mark Tibbs is also talking... It's a freeway connection. It's a connection between the boxing spirits, Mark Tibbs, and the fighter. Mark Tibbs said, I, I had the connection. And then Ben Davison jumped in the way. Ben Davison jumped in the way of this ancient boxing spirits connection and blew down Billy's ear and broke it. But Mark Tibbs, as he said, Mark Tibbs was relaying the information from the boxing gods and spirits. Billy, you're going back out for another round. You're good for one more. Yeah? That's what you'll be doing. Oh, why be Mark's a bad person? It's not Mark's. Mark's, just, Mark's the middleman here. Mark's just transferring the ancient information of what Billy must do. And Mark told him straight, you're going back out there. You're, you're good for a few more, is what Mark said, 100%. And you won't, you won't find one person, you won't hear or find one person who's in, connect, who's in, who's in connection with, with the boxing gods and the boxing spirits, like, much like the YB. You won't hear one person who will disagree with him. Don't get me wrong. There'll be a lot of people, a lot of a lot of Instagram boxing trainers, Ben Davidson, other people, we've heard them already 
Yeah, let's not forget that. We've heard, we've heard the people who, we've heard the people, yeah, who don't have this ancient connection. We've heard them already. Oh, pulling, all, trying to pull all the, all the heartstrings. Yeah, trying to play on all the 2021 fruity tooty. Everyone gets a prize. Um, men, men boxing women because they're, you know, what I'm saying he, uh, you know, all these kind of things. We've heard their opinions already. Oh, we've heard, I heard Ben Davidson on TV saying, oh. I can't, Mark's a bad trainer. I can't believe Mark was going to put someone out there with a bit of swelling on their eye. We know their opinion. The reason Ben has that opinion, it's not even really his fault. He doesn't have the ancient connection with the boxing gods. He don't know what they want. He don't know what they desire. He don't know what they demand. All he knows is, is what he's watched on Instagram. Yeah, and on Instagram in 2021... The Instagram code is, if someone gets a bit of bruising on their eye, you should drag them out. And then afterwards, you can wheel Eddie Hearn out to talk about, oh, you know, and make up all the story. You can make, listen, Ben Davidson's told, yeah, drag Billy out and we can make up the whole narrative afterwards. What really happened don't matter because we've got MTK Ultra to take over. Don't worry about, don't worry about the actual, don't worry about reality. Just drag him out and we'll get on the MTK Ultra. And try and convince everyone of, of a different reality. Anyway, 